in their synagogues and preaching the gospel of the kingdom and healing their nets. And he called them. And they immediately left the ship and their father and followed him. And Jesus went about all Galilee, teaching in their synagogues, and preaching the gospel of the kingdom, and healing all manner of sickness, and all manner of disease among the people. He is alive. Amen. People of Matura, the junction, wherever you are right now, Jesus is alive. Jesus is the one that is the mediator between God and man. He is the one that died on the cross. He is the one that laid on the cross for your sins and my sins. He is real. They look for him in the tomb, but he's not there. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, he's at the right hand of God the Father, Amen. making intercession for you and I. Amen. He's the one that is praying for us. Amen. He's the one that is reaching out for us. We are people so disobedient and does not understand that God wants to love you and God wants to give you life eternal. Come on, my help. You will have to get out in hell. Can I just take my time a little bit? Yeah? Because we need to plan the foundation of the purpose that we are here. We didn't come here for your money. We didn't come here for your land. We didn't come here for your houses. We come here for your souls because there is a devil that is fighting hard and riding hard for your soul. My God, but the soul that you have is precious. A matter of fact, the soul that you have belongs to God. That's why I call God on the cross. My God, let us take back the God. Come in this house, Lord. Come and say, Lord, I surrender. One move of God upon the living in your life will set this place on fire. Fire, 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 Yes, people that are hearing my voice in their homes right now. There's people that are hearing prayers right now. There's people here that God is going to allow them to bring their families. There's people that are here right now. God is going to transform their life. When that house hear my voice, God said, repent. Let God be your God and turn uh, from your wicked ways. Father, the man that is standing outside God, loose him and let him go. Things that are happening in his life right now, things that are working in Oshaka against him, he doesn't understand what is happening. I break the powers of the enemy. The sound of a lamb in the atmosphere. The Lord is telling you, let me tell you, he, he wants you to understand what is happening. He don't want you to be ignorant. It's a crusade, but he's preparing the grounds. He's preparing the grounds. We will stay a new authority right now in the name of Jesus. We will attack the Kosha. I take back the management right now. We attack the Kosha. You are kings who hear my voice now in the name of Jesus. You have no say. 
and man. He is the one that died on the cross. He is the one that laid on the cross for your sins and my sins. He is real. They look for him in the tomb, but he's not there. Ladies and gentlemen, he's at the right hand of God the Father, making intercession for you and I. He's the one that is praying for us. He's the one that is reaching out for us. We are people so disobedient and does not understand that God wants to love you and God wants to give you life eternal. God my help. You will have to get out in hell. I just take my time a little bit because we need to plan the foundation of the purpose that we are here. We didn't come here for your money. We didn't come here for your land. We didn't come here for your houses. We come here for your souls because there is a devil that is fighting hard and writing hard for your soul. My God, but the soul that you have is precious. A matter of fact, the soul that you have belongs to God. That's why I call God on the cross. My God, that I take back the devil's soul. Hallelujah. And he's not going to leave you, nor forsake you. My God, because he knows there's something inside of you belongs to him. And he was fighting hard for it. Hallelujah. Somebody in this house, just in your hands and your feet, you need to have some praise and give God some praise. Because I know when I praise the Lord. Thank you. 